Yo, konnichiwa minasan. Welcome to Japanese study for everyone. Watashi ni tsuite no haikei. Kosuke desu. Juna na sai desu. Philippine jin da kedo, nihongo mo eigo mo hanashimasu. Sakonen kara nihongo o manabi hajime, 11 kagetsu kan hodo nihongo o benkyo shiteimasu. Nihon no gakko ni wa itta koto ga nai desu. Doku gakko de benkyo shiteimasu. Tashi wa kokosei desu. Dakara minasan kore kara mo yoroshiku o negai shimasu. YouTube de sapo to shite kudasai. Nihongo ni tsuite motto oshimasu. Guys, I know that many of you wanted to come to Japan and do some shopping, right? There are many places in Japan that you can do your shopping and there are many awesome items there. That's why today I'm going to teach you the basic places in shopping that you can use when visiting Japan and doing some shopping. Kyo wa nihon de kaimono suru toki ni tsukayaro kihon teki na phrase to tango ni tsuite o oshimasu. Saigo made mite kudasai. Ja, hajime mashou. So, saisho. This is the basic words in shopping that you need to learn when you're going to visit Japan and doing some shopping. First word that you're going to learn, the most important word is buy. Buy in Japanese is kau, kau. Money is okane, okane. Pay is harau, harau. So that's are the basic phrases, basic words that you need to learn when shopping. So let's start with the basic phrases that you can also use when shopping. One of the most basic phrases that you will need to use when shopping in Japan is how much is it? We can say it as ikura desu ka? Ikura desu ka? Ikura means how much. Ikura desu ka? So, for example, how much is this t-shirt? How much is this t-shirt? You can say it as Kono t-shirt wa ikura desu ka? Kono t-shirt wa ikura desu ka? That means how much is this t-shirt? So, we have more example here. So, let's proceed on to our next examples. So, let's move on into price. Cheap. How do we say cheap in Japanese? We say it as Yasui. Yasui. But be careful when saying this because Yasui can also mean easy in Japanese. So, cheap in Japanese is Yasui. Yasui. And expensive, Takai. Takai. For example, Ichiban yasui fuku wa arimasu ka? Ichiban yasui fuku wa arimasu ka? It means, do you have cheapest clothes? Ichiban means best number one or the most. Yasui, cheap. Fuku means clothes. Arimasu ka? Do you have? So, Ichiban yasui, yasui fuku wa arimasu ka? Ichiban yasui fuku wa arimasu ka? It means that, do you have cheapest clothes? Or, you can also say, Motto takai fuku wa arimasu ka? Motto takai fuku wa arimasu ka? It means that, do you have the most expensive clothes. So, that's how we said when it comes to pricing. Cheap is Yasui. Expensive is Takai in Japanese. So now, let's move on in place. When you're going to ask place, you can, there's our, there are example sentence here. When, how you do, do you ask place? So, for example, Chikaku ni konbini wa arimasu ka? Chikaku ni 
konbini wa arimasu ka? It means, is there a convenience store nearby? Chikaku ni means nearby in Japanese. Chikaku means near, chikaku ni means nearby. Konbini, convenience store. Convenience store. So, chikaku ni konbini wa arimasu ka? Is there a convenience store nearby? So, if you are also go to the store and you're looking for something, you can, you can see a uh, staff that will come to you and they will say this sentence. Nani ka osagashi desu ka? Nani ka osagashi desu ka? It means, are you looking for something? Osagashi came from the word sagasu. Sagasu. Which means to find, to look for, to search for. So, nani ka osagashi desu, osagashi desu ka? Nani ka osagashi desu ka? It means, are you looking for something? Another example, you can also reply, Chuko no computer o sagashite imasu. Chuko no computer o sagashite imasu. I'm looking for second-hand computers. Chuko means second-hand. Computer, computer means computer. Sagashi, just like I've said earlier, means looking, searching, or finding something. So, that's how we said it when we are going to find something. So, one of the important words that you need to learn when bargaining. This is the words that we need to learn when we are going to bargain for the item that we want to buy. For example, your money is not enough to buy the, the thing that you want. You can bargain, you can do bargain in order to get that product by the money that you only currently have. So, here are the example sentence. Mo skoshi yasuku narimasu ka? Mo skoshi yasuku narimasu ka? It means, can it be a little cheaper? Can it be a little cheaper? So, that, so that's the meaning of it. So, the second example, Futatsu kattara, yasuku narimasu ka? Futatsu kattara, yasuku narimasu ka? It means, can it be a cheaper if I bought two? Futatsu means two in Japanese. But there are also exceptions in how you can say the discounter. There are many counters of numbers in Japanese depending on the thing, person, place, animal that you are talking who what are you talking about so futatsu is commonly used when you are talking about things but there are many ways to count different things depending on its size on its form depending on it but in this case we will use the general counter which is futatsu futatsu means two hitotsu means one Mitsu means three. So that's how we count normal things in Japanese. So let's let's back again to this. Futatsu two katara. Ka comes from the word kau, which I mentioned earlier. Kau means buy. Tara if if katara. If I buy yasu, yasu from comes from the word yasui, which means cheap. Yasuku become cheap. Narimaska can it be? It can it become? You can also it can also mean like that. So that's are the examples that we need to learn when we are going to bargain for an item when we are shopping in Japan. 
So guys, you learn many things today. So this last word that you will going to learn is the most important word after you buy, you're going to buy an item when you're going to pay it. We can say it as Zen Bude Ikura Deska Zen Bude Ikura Deska which means how much in total for the items that you you bought any kind of items. So Zenbu means everything about everything. And when it comes to prices when shopping, Zenbu means it, it can also mean total in Japanese. Ikora means how much. The, ju just like what I talked earlier. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you learn many things in this video that will help you in study Japanese. If you have questions or suggestions about improving this video, please let me know in the comments and it really helps a lot. And also, if you want to learn more about Japanese, subscribe in this channel to be notified and updated on my upcoming videos. And if you want to talk about a certain topic or lesson about Japanese, just let me know in the comments below. Minasan, mite korete arigato gozaimashita. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you so much for watching. Ja, mata tode. Arigato! Arigato na. Arigato! Arigato da. Wari. Arigato. Arigato. Minna. Arigato. 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 Ados! Arigato. 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 Omara. Arigato.